But sir, in your mind, what what allowed you guys to kind of get a handle on this game in the fourth quarter, particularly defensively, to shut them down the way you did late? Um, I think uh, two of our best defenders, uh, June, or sorry, Dennis Smith and uh, Nick Claxton, definitely started to kind of put their imprint on the game. Um, and then you also have phenomenal defenders in like McHale and Doe playing a, a big part. And, you know, if we can buckle down and get uh, some stops, you know, early in the season, we're getting everybody 120. Um, you know, we have a chance to win. And then for you personally, offensively in the fourth, I think 12 points, four assists, maybe like a plus 18 or something like that. What were you finding in their defense that allowed you to take advantage there? Um, just, you know, playing pick and roll and, and, and getting some mismatches and stuff and was fortunate enough to hit some shots. Spencer, you guys had, I think, season high 31 fast break points without Ben. And so I'm curious, what was different about this game where you guys were kind of able to get that transition work working without him? Well, transition in general, uh, you know, if you can get turnovers, get deflections, um, it's about getting out and running. Um, you know, so whether Ben's in or not, like, we have to be selfless in our running patterns. And then I guess with the first thing, uh, forcing turnovers, you guys did that at a level, uh, I think you had 29 points off turnovers, I guess. Was that going back to the defensive, defensive intensity you guys, you were just mentioning now with everyone just kind of locking in and just making that a, a greater priority today? Not priority, but intentions? Yeah. Um, you know, you could you could argue right now the the only non defender in our lineup is myself, so you know, we should be stopping people. It felt like Sunday down the stretch of the game you were more spotting up off the ball a lot and then tonight you're handling and obviously had a lot of success. Was that something going into the game that you knew that that was gonna be the way it played out, or was it more just so the flow? Um, I think it was just the flow of the game, to be honest. I don't uh, as you can see, I don't come into any game with any preconceived notions. Um, I have a varying role, and, and I'm here to support the team in whatever way possible. Spencer, you guys said all the right things about working hard and, and depth and whatnot, but, um, you know, you obviously without Cam, without Ben, you know, uh, Clax and Sharp were both in foul trouble, and yet you guys still put up 124 points. I mean, what does that speak to depth-wise, and where where's that depth? Where does that come from? The the you know go get it and, and put up that many points. Oh, I think it has a lot to do with the twins. Um, obviously, uh, they're they're a part of the Brooklyn Nets core going forward, um, and so we kind of go as they go. Um, obviously, we're missing you know Cam Thomas, who's big time scorer. Um, I think Lonnie is uh, in the six man of the year type of uh, uh, category. So, you know, that's four very dynamic players. Um, and then along with like Ben and Nick, I think uh, the Brooklyn Nets have uh, a strong core going forward. And, you know, as long as you can get the majority of those guys out there, then we have a shot to win.